Well, the word sensible is, is the correct word there. You and I have been around a long time and, you know, you've been in Canberra a long time. Normally, you can sit down with even your opponents and say, listen, uh, this policy is, is just not right for the nation. Is there no one within Labor that can rein Bowen in or is Anthony Albanese using Chris Bowen to do what Anthony Albanese actually wants to do with this renewable energy? Yeah, well, the first thing I did when I became Nationals leader was actually write to Anthony Albanese and ask for a National Energy Summit to actually plan uh, a way forward uh, for our energy system and to have put all the technologies on the table, including nuclear, uh, to make sure that it also uh, could have the, the ruler run over it. I went to that Jobs and Skills Summit. I thought Regional Australia should have a voice there. I mean, I gritted my teeth and, and held my nose uh, and, and went there to try and be constructive. Anthony Albanese turned his nose up to me. This, uh, unfortunately, is all ideology, an ideology of trying to, to get us to 82% renewables. And I think Chris Bowen has, has basically belled the cat that he wants us to go all renewables. Uh, and he, his first target's 20, by 2030 at 82%. And you still need firming power. You still need to firm up uh, renewables. And that's not David Littleproud saying that. That's AEMO saying that. But why would we put all our energy eggs in one basket? Why would we do that when we have sovereignty of all our resources? And unfortunately, Anthony Albanese um, hasn't got the courage to bring him in. The AWU, to their credit, are big, big fans of nuclear energy and believe that we should have that conversation. Even the South Australian Premier uh, is on the record as saying it's, it's um, a discussion that we need to have. And the Coalition, I can tell you, will have that discussion. We've got the courage of our conviction. We're prepared to be proved wrong. We'll be pro proved wrong in the marketplace. Let's just take the moratorium away and let the market decide. I've already met a number of investors who would come here and build their own nuclear plant and be behind the grid. That's how bad Chris Bowen is going in the cost of energy uh, for industry, but also just for households. Just understand your energy bill's going up because investments confidence has gone in our gas and coal and we're losing supply. And when supply goes, prices go up. And when you then have to put in a new system, a new system that needs to be plugged in with 28,000 kilometres of transmission lines, you're going to pay for that close to $100 billion. And when half your bills already, poles and wires, you're going to pay a lot more under this mob and you're going to do that before 2030. And that's one of the, if you look at what's driving keeping inflation up at the moment, it's the fixed costs. It's your energy and your food bill. And they're intertwined because our food processes are paying three, four times what they were uh, two years ago because of this mob.